Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMao, and today we're going to learn about the sun. Boy, you got a son, and I've never met him. I'm insulted. Nah, man, I'm not talking about that. I'm, it's the giant red hot ball in outer space. Wait, your son is a giant red ball, and you made him live all by himself in outer space. <gasps> Worst dad ever. I'm not in the mood, dude. Anyway, let's just learn about the sun. What? You've got a son, and I've never met him? I'm insulted. <sighs> the sun guy's supposed to be here already. Wait, do you hear that? Woo! Wow, it's a giant orange. <laughs> uh, woo! Wait, I'm not an orange. Sorry, dude, can I try again? Wait a second, hold on. Okay, go now. Whoa, it's the sun! Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Oops, sorry amigo, I guess I got a little carried away. You know, once you get a giant ball of hot gas like me going, it's hard to get me to stop. Woo! I don't blame you, man. It's nice to finally meet you, so what should I call you? Well, I've been known by quite a few names, actually. In the past, I've been referred to as Soul or the Right Eye of Horus, but I'm also known as Sonny the Schnoz, Mr. Sonny Butternose, Alexander Salama Hands, Jimmy No Toes, and one time as Miss Phyllis Levine. What? But that was at a barbecue at Jupiter's house, and uh, I try not to bring that up. But you can call me Sonny. Sonny, yeah, I like that, it's a good name. I gotta say, man, being a giant ball of hot gas, I don't get many opportunities to talk to people. Actually, you're the first person I have ever talked to. You must be somebody important. Yeah, I'm actually really important. I'm uh, president of the... The, the 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 birds and uh, my fan club, which is just me, and, and uh, I'm you. I'm president of you, and uh, but you can call me Mr. DeMail. Well, it's nice to finally meet you. Hey, Sonny, rewind a little bit. Did you just say you're a giant ball of hot gas? Yeah. Gas like stinky, stinky, ate too many Doritos gas. <laughs> no, not that type of gas. You see, I'm a star, and being a star means that I'm made up of gas. But me? Technically, I'm about 70% hydrogen. Oh, I could totally relate, man. You see, my dad is 50% hydrogen. Yeah, his mom was born in Italy, and she came over on a little baby boat. What? No, man, hydrogen is a gas, and it makes up most of what I'm made of. You know what, Sonny? I had a bunch of more questions for you, but I wrote them all on a piece of paper, and I actually dropped that piece of paper in a sewer, and then I went into the sewer, and I had to fight a rat for it, and the rat won. But, I do remember one question, and I think it's one we're all thinking. Well, go ahead, ask. Do you ever burn the roof of your mouth when you eat pizza? Come on, man, I'm the sun. Everybody knows I'm hot. At my center, I can reach temperatures higher than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And I can reach about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit at my surface. So I think it'd be kind of hard for pizza to burn the roof of my mouth. I'll take that as a yes. But for real, if you're like 27 million degrees, shouldn't the Earth be melting by now? I mean, look how close you are. Yeah, I may look close, but I'm actually over 90 million miles away from Earth. Then why do you look so close? Well, to be honest, I look so close because I'm huge. Go ahead, look at this picture. These are the planets that are closest to the Sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Well, let's see how big they are compared to me, the Sun. The sun is huge, but how big are you exactly? Well, I'm the biggest object in our solar system, man. Take your planet Earth, for example. 
you could fit one million Earths into the sun. Whoa. Not bad. Kind of reminds me of the time I fit a million Skittles in my mouth. Huh? Yeah, come on, man. I doubt you fit a million Skittles in your mouth. Just so. Ugh, I don't know whether to be grossed out or impressed. You should be impressed. <laughs> I gotta say, man, you are one strange dude. I may be strange, but I'm also... strange. Huh? But I'm just gonna take a guess here. I know I get light in my bedroom from my Hello Kitty nightlight, but when I'm outside and it's light out, Who's responsible for that? What do you think, man? Come on, I'm a giant glowing ball. Of course I'm responsible for your light. But the only difference between my light and the light that comes from your Hello Kitty nightlight is when you hit the switch on your nightlight, boom, it lights up. But the light from me takes eight minutes to reach Earth. So you're telling me the sun's giving me eight minute old light? Uh, yeah, technically yes. I mean, I wish I had fresh, like, organic light, but whatever. What? Anyway, light's cool, but I kind of always like the dark anyway, so does the Earth even need your heat and light? Uh, yeah. All the food you eat on Earth stems from sunlight falling on plants. Without the sun, plants wouldn't exist, and without the heat from the sun, the Earth would be one giant frozen rock just floating in outer space. So without you, there's no us? Yep, you need me. Wow, you're actually more important than I thought. Anyway, a while ago, I saw a diagram showing the layers of the Earth. Yeah. There was the crust. Okay. Mantle, outer core. Yes. Inner core. Uh-huh. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... Yes. Do you have any more Skittles? Uh, I think what you're really trying to ask is, since the Earth has layers, does the sun have layers? Yeah, that's it, actually. That's the question. So, um... Do you? Well, yeah, the sun actually has quite a few layers. Uh, here, check it out. So there you have it. Just like the Earth has layers, the sun has layers too. It starts with the core and ends with the corona. So as you can see, there's a whole lot to the sun. Oh yeah? Well, I've got this. What is this? What is that? Is that a melted Tootsie Roll? Yep, and I'm going to eat it. Oh, no, that's gross. Don't do that. Oh, you just ate it, didn't you? Why do you even have that? I just figured I had it and you melted it, and now would be a good time to eat it since I hate when they get all hard and stuck in my teeth. Congratulations. You just grossed out the center of your solar system. So you're at the center of the solar system? Yep. And all the planets in our solar system orbit around you? Uh-huh. Hmm, interesting. But do you orbit around anything? Well, actually, yeah, I do. While Earth and the other planets orbit around me, I, along with the rest of the solar system, orbit around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So you're just a tiny part of the whole Milky Way. That's it. Hey, guess what? What? I found a piece of string! Okay, great. So, uh, let's put the string down and, uh, get back to what we were talking about. So, as I was saying, I am just a tiny part of the whole Milky Way galaxy. Wow, that makes me feel so tiny. Is there anything out there that's bigger than you? Bigger than me? Pfft. I'm tiny compared to some of the stuff that's out there. Check out my size compared to some of the planets you know, as well as some of the biggest stars in the universe. No respect. Has anyone seen my glasses? No. Why do I look different? Skooka I smell you with my eyes. Look at my name. Weird. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a caterpillar. <laughs> <gasps> Michael, mow the lawn. Wait a second, you sound like my dad. I'm a giant star. How can I be your... Are you? No. But go mow the lawn. Okay, I'll do it later. And call your mother. Pretty crazy, right? Wow, thanks a lot, Ghost of Christmas Past. Wait, what? I feel like I really learned the true meaning of Christmas. What? Hey, you there! Fetch me the biggest Christmas goose you can find! 
It's April, and you only gave me a quarter. Well, how much is a Christmas goose? Hey, aren't we supposed to be learning about the... Shh, quiet, you! Anyway, young lady... Not a boy. Doesn't matter. What can I get for a quarter? Uh, this melted Tootsie Roll? Mmm, dinner is served. <laughs> 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 Wait, what are we talking about? Chicken Parmesan?